give you a little uh, scientific story today. So uh, as the kids sit down in front. All right, so Uncle Jordan doesn't have a lot of story. It's gonna be simple. I have a question. What things that you always uh, use every single day, whether you're sleeping, you're waking up, you go to school, you're going to work for uh, not the Holy Spirit. Things that we always use as a human being, so maybe plants or even animals, that sometimes we didn't think about it. Air? Is that true? For breathing? Alright, can you feel it? Can you see air? Did you have to pay for air? Okay. Can air be dirty too, like pollution from the cars or from combustion things? Yeah. Okay, so so that's one thing. So I want to read this Bible first. It's not that far in the Bible. It's like the very beginning of the story of the Bible. Genesis 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril and the bread of life and the man became a living soul. So just, you know, blowing the bread of life that give us living. So each one of us here, whether your parents, your grandpa, your uncle, your sister, brothers, everybody breathe air, right? So we're thankful we have this beautiful air conditioning in our church that we can breathe nicely and cool. And I also have a little device that I want to tell you if you guys could name this device. Anybody want to come up? Okay, come be one. So you stick your index fingers in this device. Go ahead and face your friends in the back. And then uh, tell me what numbers you got from there. Go ahead, Bree. Wait a second. It's taking a pulse. Let's see. Let's see. Well, 99, you're healthy. Well, okay, go ahead, have a seat. <laughs> so your oxygen level is 99%. So, so this little device, check your oxygen level that you breathe. So the, the area that you breathe, you can measure it. Even though you cannot see it, but you still can measure it. That's what God is. So you pray to God, you're hoping, you're believing in Him. You are, I mean, we're not able to see Him, but you believe in Him that, you know, He is there. Same thing with air. All right, so that's the conclusion of my little children's stories. Anybody's willing to volunteer to pray? You want to pray? Jesus, can you hear me, Daddy? Jesus, you ready? Jesus, you ready? Amen. 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 Am